Hi, I'm here with uh, actor Dave Johnson. Uh, Dave and I have been uh, good friends for, gosh, about uh, five years now. Um, I met Dave as, uh, as an extra on a movie I was doing uh, about five, six years ago. And uh, he did such a good job, I, uh, I wanted to have him back. And uh, he's uh, stayed around uh, for a couple more movies and uh, we've got him scheduled for, uh, for our next movie also. And uh, Dave, how, uh, how's this all been? Well, let's see, I think we met in 06. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, you had me do this little extra part uh, in um, The Choice. Yep. And uh, we kind of became friends. We discovered we were born the same year, so that was... Uh, that's right. We're both 58ers, so that's, uh, that's excellent. I was going to say 73. Born in 58. <laughs> we're not 58 years old. Uh, of course, by the time they're watching this, we might be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you cast me in uh, My Angel as, mm -hmm. uh, as, as the bad guy, Yep. of course, uh, the motorcycle riding horribly uh, nasty uh, bad guy yeah. and then uh, and then you cast me in uh, the final contract as a worse bad guy yep and uh, my wife actually pointed out the fact that uh, she thinks there might be some kind of a I don't know latent hostility toward me or something because in in my angel you burned me up you yeah know, I, I disappeared in a, in a horrible <laughs> puff of smoke yep and uh, of course in this movie, this movie in this movie movie it was the um, it was the uh, electrocution from God yep. scene, so I'm, I'm not quite sure what that all means, but uh, I'm really looking forward to playing a nice guy. Yeah. You know, I mean, just, just a, you know, maybe the neighbor or, you know, the, just the, the, the good father, perhaps. Yeah, you know? no, you know, the next movie, we've got a school teacher. You're a college professor in the next movie, and so you're a good guy. One of the things, though, that I've also found to be really exciting is, is uh, having a chance to work with my son, and that has been really exciting. Um, my son, Zach, played the, the hippie punk kid in Joe. My Angel. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. And, yeah, and then uh, yep. whose name I don't even remember. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway, Dad? that was a while back. <laughs> And uh, then, of course, he plays uh, he plays Joe in this movie, and that's uh, that's been that's been a lot of fun. He plays the hero to my villain, so that's uh, yep. that's yeah. kind of exciting. It's a lot like home. Actually. Yeah, yeah. So, there yeah. you go. Good. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys have done a really good, spectacular job. Appreciate your friendship and your time with us, and uh, we look forward to to the next movie. The Can't mi wait. The Miseducation of Joy is the next movie that we're going to be doing, and. Uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a, a really dynamic move. One thing about the stories um, I'd like to ask you about is um, the five talent film stories. What, do you, uh, what have you taken home with, uh, with each one of them? What do you, are you... You know, it's interesting. Just, just last week, um, a girl that I work with um, who uh, is with child at the moment, mm. uh, I had given her a copy of My Angel, and she came to me uh, the next day at work and said, I cried and cried because uh. it was so good. <laughs> and I think that's kind of where it hits home when when you talk to somebody who was moved you by bet. the film yep you know I agree and another yeah. another thing that that I thought was a really was a real compliment was she said I kept forgetting it was you oh wow good. and I thought well good then you're getting into the character and forgetting that it's this weird guy that you work with you know yeah so, but uh, that's I for me that's what brings it really home I love the premiere is where all the people are are seeing it for the first time because I mean by the time the movie premieres I've seen like you, I've seen the footage over and over and sure. over, and, yep. and, and it just, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, it, it's a scene, it's not a part of a story. Right. And so, you know, when you're there at the premiere and everybody is watching the story, yep. it just, uh, it, it really brings it home as to why we're doing this. Yeah. You know? And uh, just the impact that this kind of a film can have on people's lives. Sure. Well, you know, filmmaking is quite a process as you've witnessed, you know, through our now fourth movie. And uh, what have you noticed with your acting that has developed? Um, in, in now three movies for you because I've, I've totally seen you know from going to the movie theaters and watching our movies you know we just sit back and watch what we've done and we really look like oh man you know I really got to tweak that and we yeah. will never make that same mistake again which is a, is a growing thing for each one of us how about you as an actor what have you discovered I, I, think, I think what I've learned by watching myself on film over and over is the importance of subtlety mm -hmm. you know just the importance of, of an expression or a raised eyebrow or just you know, just something really subtle because film will capture that. Yep, yep. You know, if you're on stage, of course, everything has to be huge. But on but on film, you can make these subtle facial expressions or mm -hmm. these or these throwaway lines yep. that are effective. So I think by doing the films and watching it over and over, you learn that subtlety is so powerful. Yep, yep. And uh, I think I think that's uh, definitely one of the things that I've that I've taken home after 
<laughs> after doing three films with you. Yeah. Well, even with this one, with uh, Professor Dust, your emotions are very broad, and I, I liked uh, the bookstore scene in particular because you um, you were so cool in that scene. You know, we're not totally done editing the movie and, and getting it done. Um, you know, to the extent where you know people have seen it yet, but they're going to see a different um, you know Professor Dust because you're just cool and you're, you know, you're right about your eyes and just the way you're looking at Tom Pantera, you know, which was uh, Roswell, when he walks up to the, uh, the desk and uh, really comes across, you know, really across. Well, I, you know, ever since seeing him in, in uh, The Choice, uh -huh. I never worked with him in The Choice, but ever since seeing him in The Choice, I really wanted to work with him. So this has been, yep. this has been really exciting to have him be uh, Roswell to my, to my dust. That, yeah. That, He's great, and yep. you'll you'll see him, you'll see him more in this education of joy, and he's I'm sure he'll be phenomenal. He's yeah. just a great actor. Well, buddy, it's been great having you on board. Yeah, let's do a few more. Let's do it. Thanks.